He was just had a bright personality, always nice. I don't remember him ever saying a mean thing to me, so it was just a great person. Hundreds gathered at New Life Church Thursday night to honor the memory of John Luke Jordan. His smile, his eyes, his constant positive attitude, of course his hair, and how kind he was to others. While tragic, the Jordan family hopes their son's death will serve as a message of awareness to other families. The Jordan family wants to make parents aware of this thing called the choking game. The dangerous game has become popular among teens recently as a way to get a temporary high. Just to get like a euphoric kind of high feeling and that's kind of safe and not using drugs kind of thing, that's what I think. They do different things that cause them to basically be choked. Unfortunately, even when they place this in pairs or groups, people do die from it because they either seizure sometimes or they don't wake up. According to the Center of Disease Control, since May, the choking game has claimed the lives of more than 400 people in the U.S. That's why John Luke's family and friends want others to learn about this game that really is no game at all. Might be tempting or whatever, but don't do it because it could ruin your life. If you end up like Luca, you have no idea how how much stress and discomfort it brings to everybody. No.